Okay, so just exhaling. And as you breathe in, breathing through the two nostrils and just becoming aware of where the breath becomes one as you breathe into your heart. And dropping into your lower belly. And just allow the busyness of the days and the weeks, my talk, all the words, just let them all fall down all around you. Just let it, let it collapse like a deck of cards. As you breathe in and out. And if there anyone wants to join me on the OM, feel free. the end of the ohm to land in your heart. Om. And now continue to breathe through your heart. In and out. going to invoke your tube of light, which is a beautiful column of golden light from the tip of your crown to the base of your spine, and see it now in its shimmering state. And as you breathe, consciously knowing that it is fully extendable, extending your tube of light down, down through your legs, through your feet, through your earth chakra, which is about a foot below your feet, and down into the core of the earth. As you breathe in and out, and we have emptied, em entered the entrance chamber to the core of the earth. It is exquisitely beautiful. It is filled with the harmonics of the cosmos held deeply within the earth, harmonics of sound, harmonics of color, colors that we have not known before, but certainly all the ones we do know. and crystals of extraordinary beauty. And as we walk through this entrance chamber, we are walking towards another chamber and we are being directed and guided, not only by my voice, 
but also by angels and guides. Lord Michael has already seen to it that we are supremely protected. We are sealed off in the highest frequencies of love. And we breathe in through the heart as we walk through into the next chamber. And upon entering, the whole frequency changes yet again. There is an incredibly beautiful uh, pink, rosy pink uh, obelisk crystal that stands with such beauty that it takes your breath away. And there is a uh, shimmering of a fine mist that touches your skin and then is absorbed instantly by your skin. It is subtle, it is precious, and it is very sacred. It is actually food for you, spiritually speaking. And your cells know exactly what to do with this shimmering mist that keeps going directly through your pores. So we are all being seated on the ground with cushions. Some may wish to lie some upright, some in chairs. All have their perfect comfort taken care of. And we are circled in front of this exquisite crystal. And there are numerous goddesses entering from another door to join us to fill out the circle and to bring their divine energies, their presence, their excitement. For indeed there is great, great excitement about what is occurring on this earth plane for humanity. We each have a guide, an auspicious one, that has been assigned to us. Some of us have two and three. Each uh, guide, assistant, knows precisely uh, what each one of us is requiring. as you breathe in and out. And we are all uh, receiving a heart healing. Their hands are on our hearts. So the focus is in the heart. And as we focus into this heart chamber, 
<coughs> the heart begins to pulsate with a, uh, a greater uh, movement, shall we say, a spiritual uh, movement that is felt when one is coming closer into uh, communion with love. The back of the heart chakra can be felt to expand. The sides. The heart chakra is uh, being uh, felt and regarded more than three-dimensionally. It is not just at the front of our body or underneath the, your hand on your heart. It is far more than that. Feel the width of how far your heart chakra might expand to beyond the skin boundary. Sideways and front to back. Through the floor into the earth. Deeper, wider, And as we are supremely protected, it is therefore safe for you to feel now just how wide your heart chakra can go. Can it go beyond the temple? Can it move beyond this island that we are on? And for those of you listening, can it move beyond where you are located? Stretching horizontally outwards to the edges of your known world and around even 360 around the earth. Any expansion is possible. So try it on, expanding as wide is there a boundary in fact as your awareness goes all the way out perhaps you can drive your um, east west as it goes to the, from the sides of your heart all the way around you can literally drive it with your third eye. Till you meet yourself at 360 degrees. And with the north-south axis grounding deeply into the core of the earth, as you now send the laser beam of your awareness up into the center of the cosmos. Fully vertically connected. Even as you are expanded horizontally.
the cross. So if you would like to, um, just bringing your awareness back to your heart chakra, closer to the boundary of your auric field. And we're going to uh, work with uh, something else that will assist the heart. So our Lord Jesus, he's come with various names, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Sananda, uh, the Cosmic Christ Consciousness. He has come in many, many forms, one of them, Lord Jesus. So let us invite Lord Jesus into the heart, the master of the heart. You don't have to do anything, but just be aware that his presence is in your heart. And now I would like to invite uh, Lord Buddha, the Gautama Buddha, He, too, connected into the Cosmic Christ Consciousness. So invite Lord Buddha into your heart. And just discern how that feels. What are the flavors, the feelings? I would like to now bring in another great one, Muhammad, to honor the uh, Muslim religion. He too connected into the cri Cosmic Christ Consciousness. And inviting him, invoking him to step into your heart. To try it on. And there is a merging, a uh, acquiescing of harmonics occurring. where all lineages merge into one. It is all love. Now allow those harmonics to line the interior walls of your heart chamber.
Yes, I have called upon these masculine ones. We could also invoke Lord Shiva. And allow that harmonic of this great one to meld into the inner walls of your heart chamber. So it's all gentle, soft, rosy pink, nourishing movement, harmonics, communion, caressing you. And I now call upon Mother Mary And that is has a more delicate flavor, delicate touch to her entrance. Notice any wavering, any movement in your heart chamber. I'm now going to invoke the beautiful goddess Kuan Yin. And she is very soft and very nourishing. So compassionate. that the heart chamber walls are beginning to glow. Just as the lips of a very, very healthy woman You think she has lipstick on, but she doesn't. So pink, so healthy. This is the color of your heart chamber. Rosy pink. And we're going to invite Isis she has a more Saturnian flavor to her. Uh, Capricornian flavor to her. But Capricorn is actually a feminine sign. In order for the sacred to return within each and every one of us, completely and totally with full conscious awareness we need to embrace all the Saturnian Capricornian principles within ourselves
So feel Isis stand within the very center of your heart. She has a sense of being in charge. She wants you to feel in charge and yet so soft, so vulnerable, so rosy pink and moist that the absolute most precious, sacred, harmonic could pass through and Isis's principles are still upheld. That is where 2020 is ushering us towards. And we are all perfectly on time. There is nothing to be afraid of. As we embrace the magnificence of each master and lady that we have invited. Each has a mastery. Lord Jesus, the master of love. Lord Buddha, the master of the mind. Mother Mary, absolute pure love. Kuan Yin, compassion and mercy. Isis, command of not only love, but also the entire underworld. Nothing has been left unturned by her. So feel for a moment as if nothing within your entire memory banks, memory banks across all time, every character that you've ever been throughout all your lifetimes. Feel as if you've un overturned every single stone. Everything has been brought to consciousness. Feel what that would feel like. Allow the freedom of that awareness to run through your veins, to enter your bones, to awaken your DNA. You are tapped in to the living libraries of the cosmos, of all the ages. You know everything you need to know. You are a divine and sacred spiritual being having a human experience, remembering that you are spiritual, that your divine first cause nature comes from spirit. You are that. Everything that occurs in your life is happening perfectly because you designed it so that you will awaken unto yourself. 
and we are all awakening together. We are all supporting each other. And we are all uniquely and beautifully different. Let your heart pulsate from the inside out and let those pulsations of feeling the freedom of coming alive, of experience the sheer joy of remembering who you are. You are amazing. You are a magnificent soul with a purpose that is so valuable, so important. As we breathe in and out, I want you to bring in now to this scene deep in your heart. Bring in yourself as a seven-year-old. Escort yourself in. Hold your seven-year-old inner child into the center of your heart. I want you to introduce yourself to Lord Jesus. Feel the warmth, the adoration of such great love that he has for you. And now take yourself, your seven-year-old inner child, to Lord Buddha. What a moment. And as this young one This part of you, this you, sits upon his knee. Feel his warmth, his wisdom fill you. Charging you with all you need to know and understand. And now, coming before Lord Shiva. Not so scary after all. Absolute love and all-embracing. And there's a dissolving of that which you thought was not good enough or not quite ready enough. That's a lie. You are ready. You're fabulous. And moving on and coming to Mother Mary and receiving of her her rosy heart into yours. Allowing her to dissolve any emotional trauma, any stuckness, any glitch, 
any scratchiness. She smooths it right over. She's woven herself right inside that seven-year-old. And you're so close. And Kuan Yin stands right next to Mother Mary, smiling. And she doesn't have to do anything. It is her smile that carries so much. And she melts you. She holds you with such an exquisite touch that for some there may be tears. And now, yes, it is Isis's turn. She is waiting. She smiles with an all-knowing smile. She knows absolutely everything that you've ever been through. She knows every single suffering, every fear, every terror, every hurt, dismay, trauma. She knows your joy your happiness, your love. But she wants to give you backbone. She wants to empower you. She wants to let you know that you can dissolve it all, that all can become so distant that it no longer exists. She wants you to look straight into your heart. And to feel it now. With each breath in and out. Allow her hands to massage not only your heart muscle but your esoteric heart muscle. Your etheric heart muscle. Your causal heart muscle. Allow her into every part of what makes you, you. Allow her in between all the gaps and spaces. Allow her through to the other side. She is microscopic and macroscopic. She is the one hologram. And she is your home. Your peace belongs in her. Breathe her in. Allow her emboldening essence to caress you.
as you breathe in and out. So just regard again, observe your inner heart chamber. How is it feeling now? this little seven-year-old is he or she feeling more whole more able to brave this new world full of solid courage to come on out and be spontaneous, be creative, expressive, to allow source to flow through every single part of your being. And as we breathe in and out, we bow our heads deep within our hearts to each and every one of the masters, the great ones, the ladies, who have helped us in their unique way and yet we are the ones that are here on earth we are the ones in the bodies and that's what they want us to remember we got the vote to be here now for a time when evolution is going to move into arenas that we've never, ever, ever been before as a collective, as human beings. And we are so blessed, so supported, so loved. So we give thanks. And we also give great respect and love to our hearts, our inner teachers. With great respect and love, I honor my heart, my inner teacher. With great respect and love, I honor my heart, my inner teacher. And so it is. So just take your time. You don't have to be in any rush at all to bring energies back into your legs, your arms and your hands, your feet. Perhaps 
moving your head from side to side. 